the question. Being the boss of you is surprisingly straightforward. You merely have to ask, answer, and act on one simple question over and over and over. I am paraphrasing a vital question presented in Conversations with God by Neil Donald Walsh. So you could say it comes straight from God to you, via Neil and me. As you deal with the daily mayhem of the misfits and other wacky themes in the foam pit of our multidimensional universe, calmly and repeatedly ask yourself the question, who or how do I choose to be in relation to this? In other words, how do I choose to respond, if at all, right now, to my immediate situation? How will I represent myself and express what I stand for? Asking the question and waiting for your personal answer during the drama of daily life gives you important benefits. Number one, the question reminds you that you are the boss of you. You might suck at controlling your thoughts, but you still get to choose how you speak and act. The beast undoubtedly will interject a shitty answer for you, but you are well prepared to bitch slap it away. Number two, asking the question creates a momentary pause that blocks reflexive emotional reactions and gives you time to ponder whether you even want to participate in the immediate flavor of mayhem before you. Number three, over time, you'll develop an amazing sense of personal freedom by asking and answering the question honestly. Amazing life changes are in store for you. Full disclosure, I'm making this sound easy, but it's not, at least initially. You haven't been asking and answering this question with any regularity, have you? If you had, you would not be depressed or anxious. You would be living your life with a sense of purpose and control. As it is, the beast has been torturing you with fearful and threatening thoughts about failure and loss and inadequacy. So you've been too inundated with shit to ask yourself who you really want to be in each moment of your life. Let's dream up a couple of examples, starting with a simple one. Imagine you're about to unload a cart full of grocery bags into the trunk of your car on a beautiful day. The motor of the delivery truck parked next to you is running and the driver sitting behind the wheel, looking at his phone with the windows open. His truck's huge tailpipe is pumping smelly, noxious gas right into your face. You wonder, why is this knucklehead letting his truck pollute the atmosphere, waste fuel, and blow toxic gas in my face? You ask yourself the question, how do I want to respond to this? You immediately see several options. You can ask him to turn off his engine. You can wait a short distance out of range for a few moments to see if he leaves. Or you can hold your breath and quickly unload the groceries, muttering to yourself as you go. What should you do? I don't know and don't care. It's none of my business. The point is, you have to ask, answer, and act upon the question, all day, every day. How do you choose to respond to the situation? Maybe the beast is calling you names for not insulting the driver. Or maybe you want to say something to him, but you're afraid of confrontation. Hack 5 says you get to decide, and you merely have to own whatever decision you make, without regret or self-recrimination, and without listening to your damn beast. In the long run, most of your daily life doesn't matter, but your life force depends on your making an endless stream of decisions, owning them, and acting on them.